Right, on this question, the linking perimeter with algebra. Now obviously you've got to know what perimeter is. And so you should know the perimeter is all the way around the outside. The first thing that students get wrong on this is that they will put these two sides together. So they'll get 4x plus 10. Well, that's not the whole perimeter because this is also 4 plus 3x. Okay, and this side must be x plus 6. Okay, so now what we have to do is add them all up to get the perimeter. So I'm going to do it the long way. So here we go. So I'm going to start with that one. x plus 6 plus 4 plus 3x plus x plus 6 plus 4 plus 3x. There are shorter ways, but that's the long way. Now I'm going to sort them out into different, into two families. I've got an x family and I've got a numerical family. I'm going to sort out the x's first. I've got 1x, 4x, 5x, 8x. And then the, num the number parts, the numerical family, 6 plus 4, which is obviously 10, 10 plus 6. Plus 4 again is 28x plus 20. Okay, that is my perimeter. So far, so good. Now, this bit, it tells me that the perimeter is 32 metres. In other words, that is equal to 32. So they're trying to get me to do an equation, to write down an equation and solve it. So that's what I'm going to do. 8x plus 20 equals 32. So I should be able to work out what x is. And that's what they want me to do. 8x plus 20. The 20 is going to go. I'm going to get rid of that, rid of that 20 by taking it away from both sides. So what's going to be left behind? Well, just 8x equals 12. And, okay, 8x is our 12. It's not, it's not a particularly nice one. It would be better if that was 16 or 24, but it's not. But I can still do it because I know what 8x's are. So to get 1x, I can just divide by 8. So x is 12 over 8 and most people well some of you will realize that 8 goes into 12 one and a half times so x equals one and a half or even 1.5 and 1.5 what 1.5 meters And that is the answer.